Good morning. Uh, this morning I'm going to go through a demonstration on how I uh, ship my cars, how I uh, prepare to get the car to fit inside the foam, so on and so forth. Anyway, we start by you have to mark where the wheels are going to set in your foam, which I've already done before I came on camera. So I'm going to go to the bandsaw and cut these areas out where the X's are. That way the car will sit down on the foam and then I can mark the car where the outline of the body will be cut. So I'm going to shut the camera off and we'll be right back after I cut these areas out. Now we're back from the bandsaw. I actually did a little bit more than what I told you I was going to do. If you remember the X's, they've been uh, cut out. I'm using a skill saw brand and uh, had all, I also have when I do this method I have to cut one side off so it'll go through the bandsaw like this, you know, to make this cut. We back this when you you'll be able to see when we all get done that that's no problem, and we'll glue that back on so it uh, holds the foam firmly in the box. But bandsaw has a lot of dust and things on it so you need to try to keep the dust off while you're working with your prepared race car. So you just set that foam back on, place your car where you want it to rest, we'll have to cut an area out for these fenders before we're done here. Well, I think we're going to need to do that before we get that, uh, let's see, here we go. Just place your car where you want it to sit. Then I take an X-Acto blade and we're going, what we're going to do is just cut or trace around the body of the car where it's going to fit inside the foam. Just keep that blade up against the edge of the or side of the car, front of the car, up against the car body. All right, now we'll take the car off. And just finish cutting where it didn't go all the way through. Where you traced around the side of the car, that's going to become... Go back on the... Uh, We'll get all this cut out. All right, there's going to be our foam saddle formed of the body for our shipping box.
Okay, I'm going to uh, shut this off. I don't want to run uh, this short video out or I'm not, I'm not recording anymore. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off and we'll start restart it. At this point, we're now ready to glue these parts together to complete our shipping box foam. I just use an Elmer's glue, any kind of wood glue would work. Place a sparing amount on there, you don't want it to bleed through and get on your car. Don't take a whole lot. Place that in position. And with some round toothpicks to hold the, this uh, in place while the glue dries. Just angle in some toothpicks. Shifting it around, make sure it's in the exact position you want it. That's enough picks, two picks to hold it in place while the glue dries. And let's take a little bit of paper towel and wipe out some of this excess glue that did bleed out. So it won't get on your car body. Take and cut off the ends of those toothpicks, and we're just going to leave them in there. Not hurting a thing. All right. Before we do the sides, I'm going to place the car body back in the saddle. I usually do the front and the back before I do the sides. Just making sure it's fit. Put some glue on here. Well, cut this area out where the fenders have to fit down in there. No exact science here. Slice it down that way. And up through. Yeah. Just cutting out a section for those fenders to fit down into. It's probably close enough. I'm following the line that was used, you know, when we cut the top there. It should be pretty close. All right, now let's see if it fits down in there. And it does. It's fitting flat on the phone now. Going to be real secure. Check these and see which side is what. Okay, let's do this side first. Chrysler, we're earning our success. 
one well thought out feature at a time. Joel well, Polk and Lessees get all the way to Lisa on the 2013 Pirates Country Tour for $269 a month. I'm making a video, honey. That was my wife. She just got out of bed. Called me for a coffee break. We'll go ahead and finish this up first. We're almost there. Let's this car back in here before we put it on the side. Make sure it's going to be good and snug. Okay, it will be. We're going to have a good one when we get done in here. I'm really excited about having that coffee with my wife. Be sure to make time for your own personal financial goals so that when it's time to retire, you'll be ready. See more about how my car, solutions can help my mod car called Gail, she's, that's named after my wife. Alright, a couple more toothpicks and we'll be done and we can go have a coffee break. Okay, let's make sure the glue is not going to be getting on the car. A little bleed over here, a little bleed here. Okay, let's put one more toothpick in the middle of these two. Number two fix she uses. Your choice. She requires enough just to hold it in place. Make sure the car fits. There you are. Last thing you do is put it in your shipping box. We're going to cut the ends of those two ticks off. Oh, wait a minute, I'm going to go off the camera and go take my coffee break because I think I'm uh, rushing. <laughs>